This week marks the yard site, Gimel Tammuz of the Babach Rebbe Zechon of the I want to share an insight in this week's parsha from the Rebbe. So the Babach Rebbe Zechon of the was bothered. He didn't understand. Rashi tells us, Korach Pikeyachai. He was a wise person. So the complaint, the question that he asks clearly has to be a highly intelligent one. What does he say? He says to Moshe and Aaron, Kichol Kedoshim. Everybody's holy, the entire congregation. So why do you raise yourselves up at a point of being on top of everybody else? Who do you think you are? And he says, I don't understand. Of all people to ask this question, how can Korach ask it? Korach is also a levy. And you can turn around and ask the exact same question on Korach. You also have an elevated position as compared to the rest of the Jewish people. So who do you think you are? He himself is from Shevet Levi. What kind of pikeach is he? What kind of intelligent, wise person is he to ask such a question when it relates to him as well? So the Rebbe Zechon Levrach explained that when Korach said, Madua tisnasu al Hashem, that why are you above everybody else? He was talking specifically in context in which called Haida Kulam Kedoshim, that he understood that in certain spiritual contexts, there has to be a hierarchy, there has to be ways, there have to be people in charge of the Mesa Mikdash, there have to be different tafkids and there have to be different roles. But that's not everything. In the rest of so many areas of life, everybody's the same, and nobody's more important than anybody else. And why do you, Moshe and Aaron, think that you're in charge of everything? And that's not unique to Korach. Madua Tisnasu Akal Hashem. Why do you think that overall you are the ones who can be in these positions of leadership? What didn't Korach understand? What Korach didn't understand is that you can't separate the religious life of a Jew from everything else. There isn't a ruchnius and a gashmius. There isn't the spiritual and there's the physical. They blend together. They blend together. And the same way in the spiritual realm, it's clear that there's a hierarchy. It's true in every area. In every area, that there are people who are different. And there are people with different talents. And there are people with different kokos. And we do things differently. There are halachos that guide every area of our life because we infuse kedusha into everything that we do. And that's what Korach didn't understand. He said, you can bifurcate, you can separate that life of Kedusha in the Mikdash, and then everybody else can do what they want to do. They can be in charge of themselves. And they didn't understand that there has to be Kedusha in that well. In the end, is everybody, does everybody have to be in charge of him or herself? Absolutely. But within a certain context, we have to be not in charge, but responsible. I'm responsible for whatever I do. I'm responsible to make sure to maximize my potential but it's still a spiritual pursuit. And Moshe and Aaron were those spiritual leaders who were in place to inspire no matter what. A brilliant insight last night. I had the opportunity to spend some time with Rav Asher Weiss Shlita. And he's mentioned, in response to a certain question, but he mentioned, you know, nowadays, the, our, the mitzvahs that we do are more mahudar, are more beautiful than they were in the previous generations. It says we have better mikvahs, we have better erevin, we have better sifrei Torah. We have, as he put it, we have a ni- the average person has a nicer esrog than the Vilna Gon or the Baal Shem Tov. We have such beautiful mitzvah objects. Such an elevated, high plane of opportunity to perform mitzvahs. He said, I only wish the people were more mahudr. There's a Yeridas Hadoros. As he read us Adoros, and we have to make sure that we do our part, that we understand that we can't separate, and that we have to live our lives to their potential, and that we have to work on infusing spirituality into the Bein Adam Lachaver, into how we interact with other people, because those are the things that are going to make a difference. That's what Korach didn't understand, or Moshe Rabbeinu and Aaron did. He understood that our spiritual lives are a whole, and that everything that we do, and that's what the Baba Shabbi says, is the pshat here. What Korach's mistake was, he didn't understand that our lives are one complete unit and that it's our task and our role and our responsibility to figure out how to infuse all of that with Kedusha.